We will never get humanity to Mars if this continues. This sharp warning was just posted by Elon Musk on X. And yes, we have a problem. Bad news today. In SpaceX's latest update regarding the upcoming test flight, they revealed a harsh reality. Flight 5 won't be happening as soon as we expected, all due to delays caused by the FAA. And it seems that the relationship between SpaceX and this organization is becoming worse than ever before. Today, we're diving into the heart of this storm. Let's find out. When could Starship's fifth flight finally take off? Why the delay? And what's really happening behind the scenes between SpaceX and the FAA? According to Elon Musk, Starship and its Super Heavy Booster have been ready for their next test flight since early August 2024. However, the launch isn't just dependent on SpaceX's technical readiness. The main hurdle standing in the way of Starship's fifth flight is the approval process from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. According to Elon Musk, Starship and its Super Heavy Booster have been ready for their next test flight since early August 2024. However, the launch isn't just dependent on SpaceX's technical readiness. The main hurdle standing in the way of Starship's fifth flight is the approval process from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. Initially, the FAA had committed to making a decision on SpaceX's revised license by September 17, 2024. But recently, SpaceX was informed that this decision has been pushed back to November 22nd, and now even further to November 26, 2024. What's particularly frustrating is that the late November date mentioned by the FAA is only a no earlier than net estimate. This means that any new developments could delay the final approval even further. As a result, instead of launching by late August or early September as initially planned, Starship's fifth test flight now faces a potential delay until late November or possibly early December 2024. This is a significant delay, stretching over three months beyond the original timeline. It's just too long. This delay doesn't just impact the timeline for the Starship flight itself. It triggers a domino effect across all of SpaceX's operations. The company has had to reshuffle a host of activities, from personnel assignments and resource management to commitments with partners. So, what happened? Recently, SpaceX took a bold stand, releasing a statement that fiercely criticized external factors causing major disruptions to their launch schedule. In this statement, the company laid bare the details of their ongoing issues with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and voiced their frustrations in no uncertain terms. Specifically, SpaceX hit back hard against false accusations surrounding Starship's water-cooled steel flame deflector system. The company made it clear that misleading reports had surfaced, falsely claiming that this system was either polluting the environment or operating outside regulatory standards. SpaceX emphasized that the flame deflector doesn't emit any pollutants into the surrounding environment. In fact, they stated that the system uses drinking water and is fully compliant, operating under the strict oversight of regulatory authorities. In case you didn't know, SpaceX has been the target of a wildly inaccurate accusation. A CNBC reporter, who clearly had zero technical understanding, claimed that the company was discharging polluted water with mercury levels nearly 1,000 times over the legal limit. This baseless claim sparked an unnecessary uproar in the community. Of course, the report was entirely false. I've broken down this issue in detail in another video. I'll drop the link in the comments if you want to check it out. In their latest update, SpaceX called out a small but vocal minority of detractors trying to game the regulatory system to obstruct and delay the development of Starship. This statement pointed directly at the self-proclaimed Carrizo Come Crudo tribe of South Texas. The group claims they are protecting their sacred sites and pushing for environmental justice. In reality, this group, along with representatives from a few organizations considered extreme, sent a letter to Representative Vicente Gonzalez and the FAA. The letter stated, The current review and public participation process carried out by the FAA is inadequate and hinders engagement from our community members directly impacted by SpaceX's operations. The FAA's public participation process does not give enough opportunity for our low-income, marginalized, largely Spanish-English bilingual, and primarily people of color and indigenous community to participate and give public comments on the ongoing damages by SpaceX in the Cameron County region. However, it seems that some of the claims in this letter may have been exaggerated or distorted to create unnecessary pressure on SpaceX's development process. They argue that SpaceX's launches and test activities could negatively impact local wildlife, including birds and marine species. Additionally, they've raised concerns about rocket emissions and noise, claiming these could affect air quality and disturb the local community. But let me tell you this, they're just a small group of individuals who've come together and declared themselves a tribe or organization.
In reality, this group has no official legal standing and isn't recognized by any government. Still, to their credit, this small group has proven surprisingly effective at causing disruptions. For instance, they managed to delay and even cancel parts of the Rio Grande LNG project, a critical liquefied natural gas LNG export terminal. Similarly, the Inova LNG project was scrapped after facing fierce opposition from this group and their allies. Their strategy seems to revolve around making their voice appear larger than it is, using media, social platforms, and legal loopholes to amplify their concerns. In response to these accusations, SpaceX has issued a strong and detailed rebuttal. The company made it clear that they've taken all necessary measures to minimize environmental impact. They have comprehensive plans in place to safeguard the environment and are working closely with reputable conservation organizations. SpaceX has substantial evidence and scientific data to prove that the environmental impact of Starship-related activities is well within permissible limits and entirely manageable. But here's the thing. They're a minor adjustment in the landing position of the hot staging ring. SpaceX has firmly stated that this change doesn't increase any potential impact on marine life. Yet, FAA leadership decided to initiate a 60-day consultation with NOAA Fisheries. Here's the kicker. The mechanism behind these consultations allows for any new questions raised during this period to reset the 60-day countdown potentially leading to indefinite delays. SpaceX argues that this single issue could unnecessarily delay the launch without addressing any reasonable environmental concern. In summary, there's no real risk to human safety or the environment here. SpaceX is facing delays not because they violated any environmental or safety regulations. They're stuck in limbo due to the FAA's exhaustive relicensing procedures. As SpaceX themselves stated, we find ourselves delayed for unreasonable and exasperating reasons. This marks the first time SpaceX has issued an official statement with such a high level of criticism. In response, the FAA released a thinly veiled statement. When a quality application is provided by an applicant at the start, a more expeditious approval is possible. This is a subtle jab at SpaceX, referencing a minor typo involving a misplaced comma in their application. The FAA argues that when companies make changes in their applications, their experts must recheck and verify the altered data and its potential effects on other aspects of the application. But really, if a single typo can cause such a significant delay in the approval process, something about this system needs to change. Excessive bureaucracy is becoming a major obstacle to progress in every field, aerospace included. What was initially designed to ensure safety and protect the public interest has turned into a tool of obstruction, a system that hinders technological advancement. The FAA, with its overly stringent and inflexible regulations, is unintentionally creating significant roadblocks, not just for SpaceX, but also for NASA striving to achieve their goals. Technology is advancing every single day, literally and we're witnessing a growing gap between technological progress and the legal frameworks meant to regulate it. The world of rocket launches is no longer what it was in the 1960s. Without a comprehensive upgrade to the legal system to match today's cutting-edge realities, the U.S. space industry risks falling behind in the global race. At this rate, America will be heading to the Moon, Mars, and eventually the solar system with ancient technology like the SLS. SpaceX is currently in a critical phase of testing Starship, with its nearest goal being NASA's Artemis mission. With a tight schedule aiming for Artemis 3 in 2026, the pressure on SpaceX is immense. However, with the FAA standing in the way, a test launch of Starship 5-2, the likely variant for the Artemis 3 mission, seems almost impossible to happen this year. Beyond that, SpaceX still has several key milestones to hit. Aside from perfecting the booster catch, they need to continue developing and testing the Raptor 3 and Raptor 4 engine, as well as orbital refueling technology. It seems the FAA hasn't quite grasped SPACEX's iterative development approach. While the FAA faces no consequences for its sluggish inspections, time is everything for SpaceX. This situation is putting SpaceX in a tough spot. Publicly opposing U.S. government regulations could spark sensitive political debates. But they finally published a bold and direct statement criticizing the issue, a rare move in their history. It seems they've reached a breaking point. I hope all parties involved, including NASA and the political side, engage in honest discussions and make adjustments to the regulatory framework to achieve the shared goals of the U.S. and humanity. What about you? What do you think about this issue? Do you have any ideas for a solution? Share your thoughts below. All right. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in space technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.